There are some signs we should observe when it comes to someone with whom we will share our feelings. Have you ever wondered about your relationships? Have you had doubts about them? Well, sometimes God sends signals that He does not approve of your relationship with a certain person, as these relationships can lead to dependency, suffering, many tears, and sadness. They can also affect our faith and make us different from who we really are. In today's video, we will share 5 signs that God does not want you to be with a particular person. Let's give glory to God. God sends us signals all the time, it's His way of communicating with us. That's why it's so important to have that intimacy with God. The more intimacy you have with someone, the more they will reveal themselves to you, and it's the same with God. The more you let Him into your being and trust Him, the more He will reveal Himself to you. He will send you signals. That's why I tell you, God sees your inner self. It makes no sense to hide anything from Him, whether it's feelings, tears, or attitudes, because He sees it all. But God is a very kind, loving, and respectful God. He respects your will. So, if you are open to His signals and desire to see them and ask for them, He will send you what you need to see. But brother and sister, keep in mind that God is a God who does not give up on us. When he sees that your eyes are not opened by the fire of the Holy Spirit, even against your will, he will send signals, but in this case, they will be later and more painful. That's where he will want you to learn a lesson. Yes, sometimes we go through sufferings that God allows, but he knows how much we can bear so that we return to him and see the signals he sends all the time. Love can be deceiving, I believe. Sometimes, He gives us signals so that we know what He wants for us. Love can be deceiving, and the realm of romantic relationships is where the enemy works on our minds to attack us. Have you noticed that sometimes when we enter a relationship, we become blinded by superficial love and do not see the true nature of the person beside us? That's why I earnestly ask you to pay close attention to today's message because many of us go through disappointments and difficulties simply because we are unable to recognize God's signals in our lives. And if you're interested in this type of topic, subscribe to our channel, give the video a thumbs up to help us. Without your support, we cannot spread the word of God. Sign 1. The relationship is not built on true love. We are an army of soldiers of Christ. Leave a comment, I am part of the army of Christ to reaffirm your commitment to God. The first sign that God sends us is when the relationship is not built on true love. Sometimes, we are with someone for any reason other than true love. That is a sign that God does not approve of that relationship. God is love and encourages us to truly love one another not for what the other person has in material worldly matters. In Mark 12 verse 31, it says it is important to love our neighbor as ourselves, and no other commandment is greater. If Jesus himself said it, when you love someone and are not sincere with that person, or that person is not sincere with you, that relationship does not have the Lord's approval. Type 3737 if you believe that God will remove all bad relationships from your path. Signal 2, the relationship lacks God's approval. There are relationships where people choose their partners for superficial reasons like beauty or the amount of money a person has, or even what their friends might think. My brothers and sisters, know that this is not approved by God. If you ever choose a partner based on these criteria, you should know that it is in itself a sign that God does not approve of that relationship. And if you are a Christian believer in God, if such thoughts have crossed your mind, you should know that it is an attack from the enemy. That's how the enemy acts, making you disobey God's laws. And as a reward, he gives you a relationship based solely on beauty, money, or interests that are not aligned with Christian values. Such a relationship will not endure because beauty fades, and ill-used money is a source of discord and eventually disappears. 
type 1111 if you believe that God will bring even more healthy relationships into your life. Signal 3, love disappears. Do you believe, my brothers and sisters, that love will endure? No, love will also disappear, but before that, the enemy will shatter you. He does not pass through your life without leaving marks. So, do not allow him in, do not open the door, especially the door to your heart, because your heart, just like your strength, also holds all your fragility. Remember, God is faithful. Observe what is written in Jeremiah 17 verse 9, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately sick, who can understand it? And in Proverbs 4 verse 23, Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. Meditating on these passages, you will understand the importance of guarding your hearts. Type 8888 if you believe in God's love in your life. Signal 4, the relationship negatively affects your relationship with God. The second sign that the Father will send you, and He wants you to see, is when the relationship negatively affects your relationship with God. This is very important because a relationship that doesn't prioritize God can bring you insecurity or even, on the contrary, give you a false sense of security characterized as dependence. At this stage of the relationship, you may think you cannot live without the person, and even if it distances you from God, your mind will find favorable reasons for you to continue with it. It's crucial to observe where your relationship with that person is leading you, and as you get closer to them, you move further away from God. Worse still, if this makes you feel comfortable, then listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit because God is not satisfied with that relationship. We were created to praise God, and our relationship with Him should come first before anything or anyone else. Remember, our relationship with God should always be the top priority above all else. Signal 5, within the relationship, you feel like you deserve something better. When we are Christian believers in the Father, a relationship like this makes us uncomfortable because it pulls us away from speaking, feeling, and acting according to God's will. This discomfort is a clear sign from heaven. The third sign is that within the relationship, you feel like you deserve something better. You will always have the feeling that you deserve something better. You know that this relationship is not right, but you don't have the strength to leave it. In this situation, God acts by showing you signs. He often shows us what we could have to motivate us to give up what He does not want for us. In other words, sometimes God will show you a relationship that you can admire, a healthy Christian relationship that someone else has, to remind you of what is possible for you if you obey His signs. Because when you look at other relationships blessed by God, you also desire them. You need to understand that as a child of God, you deserve the best. You must be aware that you are deserving of the best, regardless of what you have done in your life, regardless of your past, regardless of anything. You deserve the best. All you have to do is if, for any reason, you have done something that you feel does not deserve God's love, repent and turn back to Him. Regardless of what anyone tells you one day, regardless of any words, you deserve the best. Do not believe mocking voices. Nothing in the world can change the story that God has written for you, for your life, for your relationships. Type 5555 if you believe that God will help you against the bad influences. Signal 6, the relationship is deceptive. Many people will say, but I love God more than anyone else. However, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, our hearts and feelings are deceptive, and through them, the enemy can use you to steer you further away from God's word and his will. For the sake of deceptive love, you may adopt attitudes that God does not approve of, which can distance you from divine grace. Where you truly place God in your life can be recognized by the sacrifices you make. If you serve God, there may come a time when you have to sacrifice your relationship in favor of the Father. 
A clear example is when a believer needs to participate in their Christian worship or be in the presence of the Holy Trinity, but their boyfriend or girlfriend does not approve or thinks they can wait. This is where your decision comes in. You must pay attention to these details in the relationship and stay true to your purpose. Your decision will show whether you place God first in your life and in your heart. If you choose God, you are on the right path because it's very likely that God has something better in store for you. But if you choose a relationship that leads nowhere, then your spiritual eyes turn against God's commandments, and He will never bless a relationship you put above Him. It's clear that such a relationship has only occurred to bring you suffering and curses in your life. If you've reached Signal 7, Type 7777 if you believe your life will transform starting today. Signal 7, the relationship is abusive or relationship becomes toxic. Any toxic relationship cannot be from God. In James 1 verse 17, it says that every good and perfect gift is from God. Abusive relationships are described in the Bible, which means they have existed for many years. We have examples of emotional abuse in the Bible. Abigail was married to her abusive husband, Nabal, who was described as rude, insulting, and wicked by those who knew him better. In this case, he was a toxic man. We also have the example of Delilah, a toxic, treacherous, and ambitious woman who took advantage of Samson's love to betray him, as mentioned in Judges 4 and 16, where Delilah tormented his soul with her words every day until his death. This is another example of how men and women can be toxic and harm their partners. According to the Bible, the actions of an emotional abuser are sinful and do not please our Heavenly Father, who loves us greatly and would never allow you to stay with someone abusive. God is faithful to us and to everything concerning us, and He does not want any harm to come to us. This includes our mental and emotional health. We must be attentive to the signs that God sends us. It's important to pray when these signs arise to understand what God is telling you. Remember that when you entrust your plans to God, He will always guide you on the right path. In summary, this video talks about how God speaks to us through signs. If these signs are not clear to you or you cannot see God's signs in your relationship, Calm your heart because in silence, the Father's words reside. I am sure you will hear them because most of the time, the signs are clear. Reflection, I am sure you know when a relationship aligns with God's purposes and when it does not. We are not innocent in this world. God gave us all discernment to know what is right and wrong. The enemy only acts in your life if you allow it. If you allow someone to come in and destroy your faith, distance you from your life's purpose, destroy your self-esteem, and keep you away from God, preventing you from having a relationship with Him, then when you realize it, it may be too late. At that moment, our Divine Lighthouse must be tuned because God will send signals. If it is too difficult for you to recognize them on your own, do not be ashamed, acknowledge your weakness before God, and He will remove the blindfold from your eyes and give you the strength to leave a relationship He does not approve of. I understand how deceptive our hearts can be. Sometimes, we hold on to someone without understanding why. Feelings of loneliness and need make us believe that we cannot let someone go from our lives. Low self-esteem makes us think we will never find someone else to be by our side, and we guard deep within us things that only we know. So, I'm not here to judge you, I never would. I know you've heard many things that have hurt you, and I know you've made mistakes. I know many wounds are still open and haven't healed yet. I know sometimes we think the person with us at that moment will be the one to heal those wounds. But I sincerely hope that you have in your mind and heart, as a Christian believer, that God knows all of this and is not allowing you to go through it in vain. Ask God for sensitivity to His words, and if God gives you any of these signs, let it go, even if it hurts, even if it tears your soul apart, and listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. 
the Holy Spirit tells you, I have something better for your life. I hope you can see all these signs and have the strength to not allow anything or anyone to separate you from the love of God, His mercy, and, above all, the glory God has in store for your life. Amen. May you all have the peace of Christ.